of our country decreased uh, its value against dollar approximately 50 percent. Whoa! When? Yes. Uh, if uh, before the change, before the change, uh, one monad is equal one point zero five dollar. No, no, no. One dollar equal one point zero five dollar. But now uh, one dollar is uh, equal uh, to one point fifty five dollar. Fifty five okay. fifty five Wow. So that's definitely intense. Um. It's great. Uh, yes, uh, the prices will be uh, increasing. I think because uh, our country. Don't produce anything. Uh, we doesn't import. Uh, yes, we import uh, everything. We just export oil and uh, get uh, imports uh, dollars. But yeah. in result, the oil prices decreased, and as a result, uh, uh, okay, we lost uh, our uh, dollar revenues. Okay, yeah, it's that's intense. Uh, for example, uh, when I joined the webling lessons, uh, at the first time I paid uh, 35 manats, but now I have to pay uh, uh, 70 manats. It's difficult. Um, yeah, okay. the dollar is doing well too recently. Um, okay, well, sorry to hear that. That's always tough. Um, but yeah, well, good to see you again, at least. And Julieta, welcome to class as well. How's it going? Julieta? Mm, Ali, how's it going with you? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Good to see you again. Um, what's your day been like? What have you been up to today? Um, actually, um, uh, I didn't, um, uh, I didn't go to work today, I'm off, uh, okay. so I spent a lot of time, yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, I spent, um, most of time, uh, yeah, on the burping chat or on the burping or, uh, doing my work at home. Okay. So it's, uh, it's kind of balance between work and, and uh, my English. Also. All right. Um, it's a little bit difficult to hear you at the moment. Um, so now it's you good. Could, yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not sure how to fix that either, Julieta. Um, Mm, leave and come back maybe might help. Um, I know you already did once. I would try it again. Um, or close the browser. That also helps. Um, yeah. Claudio, how's it going? Hi, Yusha. Great. You? I'm doing really well. Nice to see you again. Um, <laughs> so I never really looked at your picture before. Um, are those any of your kids? No, they are, they are my students' karate lessons. Okay, and that nice. was the, the Halloween customs. Okay. And they they choose that kind of customs, like uh, superheroes and something like that. I like the kid with the um the jail costume, uh, the prisoner. Yeah. I think that's my <laughs> it's it's Beetlejuice. Supposedly it's Beetlejuice. It's what? Beetlejuice. The that movie calls Beetlejuice. I I I didn't see that movie, but they told me that I call Beetlejuice. I I will oh, write Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Okay, Beetlejuice. Um. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Are Are you also in the picture? Yeah, I am the blue school. Okay. Nice. With blue mask. Blue, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um. Okay, cool. And Julieta, I don't know, is your PC still an idiot? I don't know. No, it sounds good. Cool. It's back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to class. Um, and 
Yeah, I guess for New Year's. Do you have any New Year's plans? No, I don't. No New Year's? Okay. All right. And I think, I think we're good. Let's get started with the story. So let's start. I don't believe any of you have taken this. I could be mistaken. Julieta, can you read the title and the first little paragraph? A Letter to God The house, the only one in the entire valley, sat on the crest of a low hill. From this high, one could see the river and next to, next to the coral, the field of reed corn dotted with the kidney bean flowers that always promised a good heart. Okay. Uh, next to the corral. Corral. Yeah. And a field of ripe, ripe corn. Ripe corn. Good. Questions here. Does anybody have any... Okay. A crest? Who, does anybody think they can explain a crest? Uh, it's the high part of the hill. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The crest is the high point. Okay, and yeah, so, and a corral. What's a corral? Okay, so a corral is like a fenced-in area, um, generally for horses or cows, but like it's a really small area where you gather horses or cows or other livestock in. Yeah, and that's it. Any questions? Any other questions? Okay. Edson, can you read the next part? Um, the only thing the earth needed was a rainfall or at least a shower. Throughout the morning, Lenko, who knew his fields intimately, had done nothing else but scan the sky toward the northeast. May I continue? Yeah. Now we are we are really going to get some water, woman. The woman who was preparing super replied, "Yes, good, God willing." Yeah. Let's look at Lancho. Lancho. And intimately. Intimately. Okay. And questions here. What is Lencho? Uh, Lencho is his name. Okay. Um. um okay. And any other questions? Okay, and let's have Claudio. Can you read the next bit? Claudio? Yes. Uh, the oldest boys were working in the field while the smaller ones were playing near the house until the woman called to them all, come for dinner. It was during the meal that just a uh, lencho had predicate. Big drops of rain began to fall. In the nor northeast, huge mountains of clouds, of, of clouds could be seen approaching, approaching. The air was fresh and sweet. Predicted. Predicted. Predict it. And northeast? Northeast? Yeah, northeast, huge mountains. Huge mon mountains? Mountains. Mountains. Mm, mountains. Okay, good. And questions here?
Okay, and let's have Ali. Can you read the next part? Yeah. Um, from the man. Yep. From the, yeah, the man went out to look for something in the curl for no other reason than to allow himself the pleasure of feeling the rain on his body. When he returned, he ex uh, ex uh, exclaimed, those aren't raindrops falling from the sky, there are a new coin. Um, the pet drop are a ten uh, centable, centable pieces and the little one are five. Good. Um, he exclaimed. He exclaimed. Exclaimed? Yeah, exclaimed. And there. There. Yeah, is there a new coin? Yeah, there are new coins. There. But how how are differentiate between there and they are? No there pronunciation difference. So they yeah. are? It's I mean, they are is a contraction or can be contracted into there. There are yeah. new coins, they are new coins. Doesn't make a difference. The pronunciation is the same. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. The big drops? Drops? Yeah, drops. And centavo. Centavo. Good. Questions here. What do you mean by the their new coins? Can anybody explain that part? Nobody? Just Oh, they're new coins. They're not raindrops, they're new coins. Why does he say that? Hmm. All right. Uh Let's have now. What's happening in the story so far? Hmm. Ran Rancho. Mm -hmm. Predict that predicted to the weather. Okay. I don't well, know. What's Rancho's job? Uh, can you back to the? I don't remember. Uh, his job is mm, 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 mm. it's never told so we don't like hear what his job is we have to kind of imply mm, what his job farmer is. yeah he's a farmer okay so he's a farmer and they need a rainfall so mm -hmm. they need rain right Mm -hmm. And then it starts to rain. And he says, those aren't raindrops, they're new coins. Mm -hmm. Why would he say that? Uh, those are raindrops falling from the sky. Uh, the, for the mm, vegetables and some uh, uh, for food, the rain is kind of... Mm. Rain is very worth it for huh? new coins. Okay, so instead the rain is instead of co money. Mm. Mm. He's just saying that the rain is going to make him money. So because it is raining, the plants are going to be good. And he's going to make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. it's, that's all he's saying. So those uh -huh. raindrops are new coins because they're like going to make him. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what's gonna come. So that's not quite yet. Um, so he's still satisfied. He's still pretty happy. Mm. Um, 
Uh, what is the ten centavo? Centavo. Centavo is like a it's like a cent almost. Aha. Uh -huh. um, yeah, cent. Spanish. Um, so it's like peso, centavo, cent. Okay. Um, yeah. And let's have Ilkin. Can you read the next page or the next paragraph? Which one, please, teacher? Okay. So starting with with. With a satisfied expression, we regard the field of ripe corn with its kidney bean flowers, draped in a curtain of rain. But suddenly a strong wind began to blow, and together with the rain, very large hailstones began to fall. This truly did resemble mere silver coins. The boys exposing themselves to the rain, run out to collect the frozen pearls. Okay, let's look at these. 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 So <clears throat> and then draped. Draped. And he regarded. Uh, he regarded. Hmm? Regarded. Okay. Questions? Teacher, what does it mean, kidney bean flowers? Kidney bean? Okay, so kidney bean is a type of bean. Um, so it's like a black bean or a brown bean or like a garbanzo bean. Um, so the plant yeah. has flowers. Okay. Um, so when the plant is growing, I could get you a picture. Um, but when the plant's growing, yeah, they have flowers. It flowers, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah. Any other questions? Draped in a curtain of rain? What's that mean? Julieta, can you explain draped in a curtain of rain? Uh, it means that uh, uh, they are covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they're covered with rain. So it's like rain is kind of like hanging heavily over them. And Julieta, can you read the next part? It's really getting bad now, exclaimed the man mortified. I hope it passes quickly. It did not pass, pass quickly. For an hour, the hail rained on the house, the garden, the hillside, the cornfield, on the whole valley. The field was white, as if covered with salt. Not a leaf remained on the trees. The corn was totally destroyed. Flowers were gone from the kidney beans plants. Lenchko's soul was filled with sadness. Yeah, Lencho's soul was filled with sadness. All right. Um, what does mortified mean? Does anybody know? Mortified? Really sad. It's, uh, it's not quite like sad, like scared to death or like horrified. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And <clears throat> I think we're good. Does anybody else have any questions on this part? All right. And Claudio, can you read the next part? Yes. Uh, when the storm had passed, uh, he stood in the middle of the field and oh, said, yeah. of the field and said to his sons, a pledge of locust will have left more than this. The hail has left nothing. This year we will have no corn or beans. Nice. A plague. A plague of locusts. Plague. All right. Okay. Good. Plague. Questions here? Hmm. 
he stood is a past, right? Past verb. He stood. Yeah. The, he stood in the middle. Of the middle. Oh. Um, and said, yeah. So, no food. Can you read the next little paragraph as well? Yeah. Uh, uh, that night was a sor sorrowful one. All of all our work for nothing. There's no one who can help us. We'll all go hungry this year. Yeah, that sounded good. We'll all go hungry this year. Um, questions here. <clears throat> What is a lo locust? A locust is like a... Generally we're talking about bugs, like grasshoppers, that eat all of the harvest. They eat all of the, like, the plants or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, that, those would be locusts. Locusts, okay. Any other questions? Sorrowful. Sad. That was a sad night. Yeah. Full of sorrow. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Now, can you read this next part? That night was uh, no where? Uh, but that night. That oh night. yeah, but sorry, but in the heart. Uh, but in the hearts of all who lived in that. So literally, house in the middle of the berry, there was a single hope, help for God. Don't be so upset, even though this seems like a total loss. Remember, no one dies of hunger. That's what they say. No one dies of hunger. And then this next one. Oh, all throat, all yeah. thought, the night, Lencio thought only of his one hope. The hope is the hope of God, whose eyes, as he had been instructed, he see everything, even what is deep in one's conscience. Mm -hmm. Conscience. Conscience. Mm -hmm. And help from God, from Help from from God. And solitary. Solitary. Yeah, solitary. Um, uh, what is solitary? Solitary is like lonely. Oh, so all okay. alone. Solist or oh, sorry, tell me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any other questions here? Okay. And Julieta, can you read the next part? Lechko was an ox of a, hand, of, a man, of a man working like an animal in the field, but still he knew how to write. The following Sunday at daybreak, after having convinced himself that there is a protecting spirit, he began to write a letter with which he himself would carry to town and place in the mail. It was nothing less than a letter to God. Good. And one more paragraph. God, he wrote, if you don't help me, my family and I will go hungry this year. I need a hundred pesos in order to resow the field and to live until the crop comes because the hailstorm. Good. Riso. 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 Yeah. So it's like to plant the fields again. So if you're sowing the fields, you're planting it. So he needs to replant um, the field. And any other questions? <laughs> okay. And Claudio, uh, can you read the next part? Yes. Uh, he wrote to God on the envelope, put the, the letter inside, and still trouble 
went to town. At the post office, he placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. One more? Yeah, continue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. One of the employees who was a postman and also helped at the post office went to his boss laughing uh, heartily and showed him the letter to God. Never in his career as a postman had he known that address. The postmaster, a fat, uh, amiable fellow, mm -hmm. also broke out laughing. But almost immediately he turned serious and typing, tapping, not typing, the letter on his desk commented. Good. Uh, dropped. Let's look at dropped. Dropped. And hardly. And, uh, hardly. Yeah, uh, hardly. Hardly. Okay, hardly. That address. The, that uh, address. Yeah, that address. That <clears throat> Annual is like friendly now, so that would be friendly, friendly or pleasant. Um, let's look at tapping. Uh, tapping. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And any other questions here in this part? <clears throat> what is heartily? Heartily. Heartily. It's like from your heart, like with heart, you laugh really heavily. It's not like a small laugh, it's a pretty big laugh. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. What is amiable? Amiable. It's friendly or nice. Oh. So somebody who's amiable is nice, friendly. Yeah. Really pleasant. Amiable fellow. Yeah. A, a person is a fellow. Mm, okay. He's a nice guy. He's a fat, nice guy. Um, Teacher. Mm-hmm. What's that? An ox of a man? Uh, so an ox is like a big, like a buffalo type creature that people use to, mm -mm, I guess, to like farm. So there's like a farm creature would be an ox. Um, so if he's an ox of a man, he's like a really big guy. He is kind of, he's not really smart either. Oxen are not. Smart. They're just like big, really hard workers. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, okay. Any other questions here? Okay. Now, can you read the next parts? One. No. Uh, what? What a face! I wish I had the face of the man who wrote this letter. To believe the way he believes, to hope with the confidence that he knows how to hope with, starting up a correspondence with God. So, in order not to disillusion that pro, pro, prodigy of right. faith, uh, revealed, revealed by a letter that could not be delivered. The postmaster came up with an idea and answered the letter. But when he opened it, it was evident that to answer it, he needed something more than goodwill, ink and, and paper. Yeah, it was evident. It was evident. Evident? Nice. Nice job with disillusion, that prodigy of faith. That sounded really good. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know the me. And ink and then paper. Why the two ink and paper? And oh just typos. Oh, okay. Um okay, so uh disillusion that prodigy of faith. Somebody who's a prodigy is somebody who's really good at something. Um oh, somebody who like people expect more from too um, but we talk about like prodigy athletes um, especially the kids who are really good at a sport from a really young age are kind of prodigies 
Mm. Um, so he's a prodigy of faith. So he's like a really good at having faith. Um, and disillusion is like to ruin his faith or like, yeah, to like show him almost the truth mm. of the matter. So if you disillusion somebody, they have a dream and you tell them that dream is impossible. Okay. Um, so yeah, when recently I was told that unicorns don't actually exist, I was disillusioned. It was terrible. I couldn't believe it. I'd always wanted a unicorn. Um, if that makes sense. Any other questions here? Uh, correspondence with God is like, like a back and forth conversation. Generally through the mail would be correspondence. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, uh, faith is destiny. Is it like a destiny? Faith. Faith is mm, like faith. Um, if you believe in something, you have faith. Um, so people who believe in God have faith in God. Um, yeah, you can have faith that your team will win the game. It's like you're confident that it will happen or that it is true. So it's like certainty despite imp like the impossibility of certainty. All right. Or certainty despite lack of evidence. <laughs> Anyways, good. Um, any other questions? Okay. Let's have Julieta, can you read the next part? Whoa. All right, there you go. But he's, he stuck to his resolution. He asked for money from his employee. He himself gave part of his salary, and several friends of his were obliged to give something for an act of charity. It was impo impossible for him to gather together the hundred pesos, so he was able to send the farmer only a little more than half. He put the bills in a, an envelope addressed to Lenchko, and uh, with them a letter containing only a single word as a signature, God. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Let's look at obliged. Obliged. Yeah, obliged. Obliged. Good. Um, so they're like, almost like forced to be obliged. Um, it's like a, a, not like a heavy forcing, but it's, you know, you're forcing somebody to do something. Um, any other questions? Okay, so this postmaster does get the money, and he sends the money in an envelope with the signature God. Um, let's have Claudio. Can you read the next part? Yeah. The following Sunday, Lencho came a bit earlier than usual to ask if there was a letter for him. It was a postman himself who handed the letter to him, while the postmaster, experiencing the con containment of a man who has performed a good death, looked on f from the doorways of his office. Uh, Lencho showed not the slightest surprise on seeing the bills. Such was his confidence, but he became angry when he count the money. Uh, God could not have made a mistake, nor could he have denied Lencho, what he had request, requested. <laughs> Good. Counted. Counted. Yeah. 
Um, count. Count it. And then a good deed. Uh, a good deed. Deed. <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> any questions here? Okay, now, can you read the next little paragraph? Mm, immediately, uh -huh. Lencho went up to the window to ask for paper and ink. On the public writing table, he started to write uh, with much uh, wrinkling and his brow. Uh, caused by the effort he had to make to express his ideas. When he finished, he went to the window to buy a stamp, which he licked and then affixed to the envelope with a bl uh, blow of his fist. <laughs> Good. And let's look at envelope. The envelope. 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 Uh, with much wrinkling of his brow. Wrinkling of his brow. And caused. Caused. Good. Uh, okay, questions here? Hmm. <laughs> So your brow is like your forehead or your eyebrows. Um, so he's like wrinkling his eyebrows because he's trying really hard to express his ideas. Um, he, <laughs> Julia had to, huh? he licked. Yeah, so you lick a stamp. So the back of a stamp is kind of sticky, but you have to like oh. make it sticky with your saliva or with water if you want oh, okay. to, to <laughs> use water. Um, hmm. Juliet, uh, can you read the rest of the story? The moment that the letter fell into the mailbox, the postmaster went to open it. It said, God, of the money that I asked for, only 70 pesos reached me. Send me the rest, since I need it very much. But don't send it to me through the mail, because the post office employees or a bunch of crooks. <laughs> no. Bench <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and that's the story. Um, so, <laughs> what's happening here? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe Claudia, what's happening? What happened? Claudia? Yeah, I don't know what is crooks. Okay, what's a crook? Who knows? Nobody? Who knows what a crook is? Julieta? I'm not sure. I think they are someone who rob. I don't know. Yeah, a crook is a thief. Is it like a thief? Yeah, it's so like a morally bad person. Um, yeah, so Crook is a thief. <laughs> so, yeah, Claudia, what's what's going on? Yeah, the last part is uh, like a, they are a thief, no? That never send will send that, no? What does what does he suspect? I mean, yeah. So, I, can you just be a little bit clearer? Yeah, it's like a. Supposedly that that letter is is to to a god, no? That and. Uh, um. Yeah, I mean, now, what's what's going on here? Uh, post office thought uh, if he act to the god and send the money, 
that is good things for him that Lencho says uh, God might not be but God might not make a mistake and post office stolen the money or um, huh. something. So the post office who actually gave him the money? Yeah, gave him the money. Stolen it. So, exactly. It's yeah, at the end it's the sad story. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sad story indeed. Um yeah, so this person who's doing something really good, really nice is accused of being a thief um, by the person he tried to help out. Julieta, um, does it say, I mean, like, is this an important story? Does it talk about, like, human nature at all? I mean, is it good or bad? What do you think about it? Yes. I, I think that uh, this is a, a story that can happen in the countryside. I don't know if it is ideal. I don't know if, if what? I don't know, but I have this idea of a countryman that can do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, I guess what's it say about, like, I don't know, suspicion, suspecting other people, and, yeah, mm -hmm. do you think, I mean, in, like, a less intense version of this story. Does this happen in real life? You know, not not with God maybe and not to like such an extent, but is this something that happens in real life? Mm. Well, it can happen, yes. Okay. Like what what could be an example of like this on a smaller scale? Mm. On a small scale. Mm. <clears throat> if you help someone. Yeah. Er, and they don't like, res respond or respect it, or they treat you badly, or they suspect you of things. Yeah, yes. I think... Just like the idea that people are really susceptible to doubting other people's motives and actions and um, gossiping and things like that. I, yeah, I think it's maybe something like that, but it is a good story. Um, Claudio, do you think you get it? Are you? Do you understand the story, Claudio? Uh, more or less. <laughs> more or less? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I try to understand. That's the idea. Okay. Um, so we've got a farmer, and he lost all of his crops because of hail. So ice fell from the sky, killed his whole farm, pretty much. And so he's like, wow, we're going to starve this winter. But he decides to write a letter to God yeah. to ask for money. The postmaster gets it and decides to try to send some money to Lanjo. He doesn't send all of the money. Lencho gets the money, and he's immediately very angry because he thinks that the post office employees stole the money that God sent. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. And so that's what's going on. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Let's get... I'm going to read a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, did you guys read the um, the story they were made of meat? We could probably finish the that. Story? It's um, a, yeah, it's a story they're made of meat. Meat. No. Okay. So let's start. Uh, we've got like two pages. For the 
Mm -hmm. Let's do this first part. Let's have Julieta, can you read the role of the first character? And let's have Claudio, can you read the role of the second character? Okay. They are made out of meat. Uh, meat? Meat. They are made out of meat. Meat? There is no doubt about it. We picked up several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessel, and uh, probed them. I probed them all the way through. They are completely meat. That's impossible. What about the radio signals? The message to the stars? They use the radio waves to talk, but the signals don't come from them. The signals come from machines. So who made the machines? That's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. That's ridiculous. How can meat make a machine? You're, you're asking me to believe in sen sentient meat. Nice. Nice job. With sentient. How do you can repeat messages? Uh, messages. And uh, Julieta, recon? Recon? Recon. Yeah, so that's reconnaissance. Um, do you know what reconnaissance is? No. Okay, so something that leaves in order to gather information. Um, so it's especially when you're like searching for something or in a military action. Recon is somebody who goes outside of like safety or the home base and gathers information from somewhere else. Make sense? Okay. Yes, yes. Um, probed is like we looked at them or we searched them, we like stuck things in them <laughs> to probe, it's like to search. Um, sentient is like thought or thinking. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, and all right, well, let's have now, can you read the first part, and Claudio, can you read the second part? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. These uh, creatures are the only sen sentient race in that sector, and they're made out of meat. Maybe they like the Orpholi, you know, a carbon-based intelligence that goes through a meat stage. Nope. They're born meat and they die meat. We studied them for several of their lifespans, which didn't take long. Do you have any idea what's the lifespan of meat? As per me, okay, maybe they're only part meat, you know, like the widely, a meat head with an electron plasma brain inside. Nope, we thought of that since they do have meat heads, like the widely, widely's. Uh, but I told you we probed them. Uh, they are meat all the way though. Uh, no brain. Oh, their brain no light. It's just that the brain is made of the meat. Made of meat. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So what what does the thinking? You're not understanding, are you? Uh, you are refusing to deal with the what I'm telling you. The brains does the thinking. The meat. Okay, let's look at creatures. Creatures. And sentient? Sentient? What is sentient? Sentient is like thinking or self-aware. Okay. 
um, studied. Studied. Um, do, 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 all the way through. Through. Mm, and good. I think we're good. Any questions here? What is ready? Readily. It's a made-up word for like uh -huh. an alien. Okay, we're readily. Like an alien race. Um, any other questions? Spare me. Spare me. This is a good one. Um, it's like, don't make me go through that. It's like, spare me. Like, yeah, kind of like, leave me alone. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, yeah. So if somebody's like, asks you if you want something, so it's like that you don't like or that you don't want to do, you'd be like, ah, oh, spare me. Um, and Julieta, can you read the? F uh, can you read the second roll? And now, can you read the first roll? Um, oh, sorry. Come on. Where? <laughs> Thinking meat. Sorry. Um, thinking meat. You are asking me to believe in thinking meat. Yes. Thinking meat. Conscious meat. Loving meat. Dreaming meat. The meat is the whole deal. Are you beginning to get the picture of do a or? Oh me! Oh my God! Uh, you are serious then? They are made out of meat. G oh. Go ahead. You're fine. Thank you. Finally, yes. They are indeed made out of meat. And they have been trying to get in touch with us for almost a hundred of their years. Oh my god. So, what does this meat have in mind? First, it was it wants to talk to us. Then, I imagine it wants to explore the universe, contact other sentient, sentient, swap ideas and information, the usual. We are supposed to talk to meat. That's the idea. That's the message they are sending out by radio. Hello. Anyone out there? Anybody home? That sort of thing. Okay. Uh, sentiences. Sentiences. Good. Uh, so, like intelligences, other intelligences. Um. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Uh, let's have Judetta. Can you read the first roll? And Claudio, can you read the second roll? Oh, Juliet, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, they actually do talk then. They use words, ideas, concepts. Oh, yes, except they do it with meat. I thought you just told me they used radio. They do, but what do you think is on the radio? Meat sounds. Do you know how when you slap, slap or flap meat? It makes a noise. They talk by flapping their meat at each other. They can even sing by squirting air through their, their meat. <laughs> oh my god, singing meat. This is altogether too much. So what do you advise? Officially or unofficially? Both. Officially, we are required to contact, welcome, and log in any and all sentience, or sentient race or multi begins in this quadrant of the universe without prejudice, prejudice, fear or favor. Unofficially, I advise that we erase the records and forget the whole thing. I was hoping you would say that. It seems harsh. But there is a limit. Do we really want to make contact with meat? <laughs> Good. Prejudice? Prejudice. 
Uh, sentient races. <clears throat> sentient races. Yeah, good. Um, and let's have... Let's have do, 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 Claudio. Can you read the first part? And now, can you read the second part? Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So yeah. now. Yeah, I I agree one hundred percent. What's there to say? Hello, Mid. How is how is going? But will this work? How many planets are we dealing with the, with her? Just one. They can travel to other planets in special need containers, but they can't live on them. And being meat, they can only travel those sea space, which limits them to the speed of light and makes the possibility of their make their ever making contact pretty slim. Infinitives in infinite Infinitesimal, in fact. Infinitesimal. Infinitesimal, in fact. Oh, okay. so we just pretend there's no one home in the universe. That's it. Cruel, but you say it. You say it. It's yourself. Who wants to meet meet? And the ones who have been ab aboard our vessels, the ones you proved. You are sure they won't remember? They'll be considered crap, crap boats if they do. Uh, we went, we went into their heads and smoothed our their meat so that we are just a dream to them. A dream to meet? How strangely appropriate that we should be meat's dream. And we marked the en entire sector unoccupied. Good, agreed. Officially and unofficially. Case closed. Any others? Anyone interesting on that side of the galaxy? Yes, a lot of shy uh, but sweet hydrogen core. Cluster intelligence in a class 9 star in G445 zone was in contact to galactic rota rotation ago. Wants to be friendly again. They always come around. And why not? Imagine, ima image, image how unbearably how and what the lovely could the universe would be if one were all alone? Unutterably. How unbearably, unutterably cold. Uh, <laughs> how unbearably. How unutterably. Unbearably. Unbearably. Unutterably. Yeah. Utterably. Unutterably. Utter Unutterably. And so to utter is like to say. Mm. Um, it's like um. unspeakably cold. Uh, unutterably. Yeah. Um, okay, and so yeah, this is just two aliens talking about people. Um, <laughs> really, I only like this, uh, this because of the flapping heat. <laughs> this is like a really good description, I think. But anyways, hopefully you liked the story. Um, does anybody have any like quick questions before we leave? Oh, I cannot understand all of this story, so can you send that link if you have? Yeah. Um, hold on one second. Um, I'll send it to you in a file after class. Does anybody else want it? Yes. Okay. Yes, I okay. So Claudio, mm -hmm. Julieta, and now. Uh, yeah, I'll send you guys all... Eh, give me a second. Just wait around for a second. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, it's much easier. It, yeah, it's yeah. just easier to send it all at once. <laughs> um, 
I just need to find it. Um, did you guys like this story, despite how weird it is? Uh, not that weird. Huh? Not that weird. Not that weird? No. <laughs> okay. Nice. Sorry? It was nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice. I'm glad you liked it. Anyways, that's the story in the chat box if you go there. Um, yeah, that should work. And yeah, thanks for coming in. And hopefully I'll see you guys again. Yeah. Thank you, Yusha. All right, bye, guys.